All right, good afternoon, guys. Happy Saturday. It is May 2nd, 2020. Yes, we are in May, which is crazy. Um, if you guys didn't catch my live stream earlier, my name is Justin. I'm a program assistant here at the Long Island Alzheimer's and Dementia Center. Um, earlier, we did some physical exercise, and then if you guys just saw, Steve was doing a great cooking video. But now we're going to be jumping in and testing our brains. We're going to be doing some international trivia. What does that mean? I have some fun trivia questions. And we're going to learn a lot about different foods and places all around the world. I'm going to give it just an, a minute or two to start. I know we started a bit late today, but that's all right. Just let a few people join in while I sit up over here. Um, just a quick reminder, we have programs coming to you here live on Facebook at 10.30, 12.30, and 2 o'clock, Mondays through Saturdays. Um, if you miss a live stream, you can always catch them on, uh, catch the recorded video here on our Facebook page or go to our website, lidementia.org. While you're there, if you're able to donate in any way, it really helps us to continue bringing program to you guys. I know these times have been tough, but we're trying our best to continue program to keep you guys occupied while you're safe at home. You know, we provide a bunch of different programs from exercise, physical activities, cooking videos, art videos. We have so many different things coming at you. We have new things coming at you almost every day. Give it another minute before we get started. Right. I hope you guys are all staying safe and staying well. Yes. Give it another few seconds. All right. It is 2.05 now. All right. I'm going to get started. Just going to do introductions one more time. Um, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, my name is Justin. I'm a program assistant here at the Long Island Alzheimer's and Dementia Center. Um, we have programs coming at you Mondays through Saturdays at 10.30, 12.30, and 2 o'clock. Right, right now, we do things from physical exercises, like chair exercises and stuff. We do cooking videos, and we do brain activities, trivia activities, like we are going to do today. Um, if you miss any of our live streams, just go on our Facebook page or go to our website, lidementia.org. We have all the videos up there for you to keep yourself occupied while you are staying safe at home. And yeah, all right, we're gonna get started. We're gonna do international trivia today. So what does that mean? So I developed a few different kinds of questions. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna talk about the different types of foods around the world. If you go to different countries, there's a lot of different cuisines. Cuisines, you know, very different from what we have in America. And I think it's important that we as people know about these different foods, there's so many different kinds of foods out there that you may have never even heard of that if you try it, it might become your favorite food. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by showing you a food of a specific country, and then I'll give you a few extra clues along the way and see if you guys can guess what country I'm thinking of. For God, let me grab my clues up here. That's a bit important, let me grab those. There we go. All right, so let me give you an example. So I have three clues for the country. So we're looking for countries for each of these questions. So for example, if I show you this food right here, I think many of you know this layered pasta dish with meats and cheeses and vegetables. Of course, this is lasagna. But does anyone know what country lasagna originates from? Now I'm going to give you a hint by showing you the country's flag, which you may recognize. And this country is home to many sites, including the Trevi Fountain and the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And of course, it's the famous capital of Rome. So I'm showing you the capital city of Rome, a famous dish from this country, which is lasagna and this country's national flag. And if you put these all together, of course, you will realize I am talking about Italy. Yes, Italy. All right, now that you guys understand how the game works, we're gonna keep going. I want you guys commenting down below with your guesses. 
And yeah, let's just keep going. Let's see how many guys, how many countries you guys can name through this. So this country has several, several national dishes, but most famously is this dish right here, which is called fish and chips. If you don't know fish and chips, it is a beer battered fish, usually cod or a haddock, and it's served with chips over here, which we of course know as French fries. Now, if you don't know what country I'm thinking of, this is their national flag, which is known as a Union Jack. In this country, you may also find the Tower Bridge, or maybe you'll visit Buckingham Palace in their nation's capital of London, which of course is home to the famous queen of this nation, or collection of nations, Queen Elizabeth II, who has rule over this area, which yes, is known as the United Kingdom. United Kingdom, awesome guys. All right, I'm gonna do another one. All right, this country, you may know for this particular meal, the classic tacos. Now I'm not talking about those crunchy shells with, you know, ground beef and stuff. I'm talking about traditional tacos with corn tortillas, meats, vegetables, maybe some cheese or guacamole. If you don't know the country yet, this is their flag. And in this country, you will find other sites such as Tulum or Cancun, Tijuana and Guadalajara. All right, this is gonna give it away, but this country's capital city is Mexico City. So if you guys didn't guess it already, yes, the country I'm looking for is indeed Mexico. All right, I know you're thinking these ones are a few, are pretty easy. They're gonna get progressively harder, but we're just gonna start off with some easy ones, you know, to really get into the groove of it. All right, all right, next food I'm looking for. Well, the food here you may recognize, of course, is sushi. Sushi is typically raw or sometimes cooked fish served over sushi rice and sometimes it is wrapped in seaweed in a roll. This country's national flag is very simplistic. It is just a white background with a red circle. In this country, you will find sites such as Mount Fuji, Osaka Castle, or Tokyo Tower, which of course is in the capital city of Tokyo. Does anyone know what country I am referring to here? And yes, of course, I am looking for Japan with this one, Japan. All right, those were the easy ones. I'm gonna get a little bit harder now. Let's see if you guys know this one. I am looking for a country who is most famous for this national dish of poutine. Now, if you've never heard of poutine, it is actually French fries served with gravy and curd cheese. Now, gravy and curd cheese, you may think that's a bit unhealthy, but the people of this country love this dish. This country has a flag that you may recognize it's very near us, especially here in New York. You can find such, sites such as Niagara Falls, the CN Tower, or the Providence of Saskatchewan. Of course, this country's capital is Ottawa. And if you didn't get it already, the country I am looking for here is, of course, Canada. Canada, yes. All right, let's see. A little more challenging, but I think you'll get this one. This country's national dish is actually Peking duck. If you've never had Peking duck before, it is a roast duck usually served with cucumbers and or like a bean sauce called hoisin sauce and they wrap it in a very thin pancake now this country you may recognize not by its food but rather its flag which had which represents over one billion citizens yeah one billion citizens this site this country's capital is home it is actually Beijing, which is actually gonna be the site of the next Winter Olympics in 2022. Again, I'm looking for a country whose national, national dish is Peking duck. 
It's just this flag that represents over 1 billion people in the country alone. Yes, I am looking for China. China was the country I'm looking for. Awesome, you guys are doing great. All right, this one's a pretty easy one. I think their national dish gives it away alone. It is an Irish stew. Now an Irish stew is a stew usually with lamb or mutton and they fill it up with potatoes and carrots and onions and parsley, a whole bunch of good stuff. You may recognize this country by its colors of green, white, and orange. Maybe if you've been to this country, you've been to the Cliffs of Moher, the Blarney Stone. You've seen lots of sheep in this country. Maybe not in its capital city of Dublin, though I'm sure you had a Guinness or two while there. Yeah, the country I am looking for is Ireland. Ireland, yes, Ireland is the country. Awesome. All right, maybe one more easy one. I think this one you guys will get quickly. So I'm looking, this one is actually kind of a dessert. So yes, this is a crepe, which is a very thin pancake and it can be sweet or it can be savory. So yeah, sometimes you, you have like a ham and cheese crepe filled with meats. I've seen crepes with salads or, you know, more likely you've had a sweet crepe with like, you know, some creams and fruits, and chocolate, Nutella, a whole bunch of good stuff. Now you definitely have seen this flag before. This country is home to sites such as the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame and Arc de Triomphe, all of which can be found in the capital city of Paris. And if you guys didn't get it yet, the country I am looking for, of course, is France. Paris, France, awesome. All right, let's get a little more challenging. We're starting to get into those dishes that you may or may not have heard of, but I know you guys can do this. So, for my friends of this nation, their national dish is moussaka, which is layered ground lamb eggplants, tomato, and cheese. You're probably familiar with this country's flag where this flag was definitely flown when during the Olympics because this country is home to the Olympics, the ancient Olympics, and the first modern Olympics occurred in the capital city of this nation of Athens. While in Athens, you can also find sites such as the Acropolis, or the Parthenon. And yeah, I'm looking for Greece with this one. Greece is the country I'm looking for. You guys are doing great. All right, next one I am looking at. This is a dish with many ingredients. This is known as paella. Pick one picture here is seafood paella. So it is a rice and saffron dish usually filled with meats like chicken or seafood. I think here you see some shrimp and mussels and a bunch of good stuff in there. And this is cooked and served in a very large shallow pan. So it's like a family meal, it's like a really big pan. This country, it's national flag. It has the colors of red and yellow. You can see sites in this country such as the Sagrada Familia, maybe you hit off Hit up the beaches in Ibiza, home to famous artists such as Pablo Picasso, Juan Miró, Diego Velázquez, and Antonin Gaudí. The capital city of this nation is Madrid. So, a country with paella and its capital is Madrid, home to many famous artists in history. And yeah, the country I was looking for is. Spain, yes, Spain is what I was looking for. Awesome. All right, this next dish, you may not know by its tra traditional name of Kotbular. However, you probably recognize this image of meatballs. You may have had it while furniture shopping. So I'm sure you recognize this flag. So this country, is cap country's capital is of Stockholm. So I'm looking for a country whose capital is Stockholm 
and you've had their meatballs while furniture shopping, maybe with some gravy or potatoes, some lingonberry, very traditional. This country is also home to saunas and the land of the Vikings. Yes, I am looking for Ikea's home nation of Sweden. Sweden. All right. This one you might get based on the name of the national dish alone. I'm sure you've probably tried this. This one right here is a rice noodle dish called Pad Thai. It is stir fried rice noodles with meat, peanuts, eggs, bean sprouts, and vegetables. You may recognize their flag, a nation home to the Grand Palace, the bridge over the River Kwai, and Maya Bay Beach, one of the most beautiful beaches in the world, home to the city of capital city of Bangkok. The country I am looking for is Thailand. Yes, Thailand. Awesome, you guys are doing great. Keep commenting your answers. I know they're a bit delayed here, but I love to see you guys guessing. All right, you may have not heard of this one, but this is an interesting dish. It is called Sour Broughton. Sour Broughton. It is a roast beef dish or sometimes it could be veal or venison, and they marinate it in wine and serve it with plenty of vegetables, some starchy potatoes. Though you may more so recognize this country by their flag and their colors of black, red, and yellow. They're home to many, many car companies that you can race on the Autobahn. Or perhaps you'll see Brandenburg Gate in their capital city of Berlin. Other sites include Neuschwastein Castle. Yeah, the country I am looking for is Germany. Germany, yeah. By the way, if I mispronounce something or I get something wrong, please let me know. I do apologize. Um, all right, next country. Their national dish is called a meat pie. So while here in the States, we may fill our pies with apples or cherries and other fruits, they like their pies a little bit more savory, filling it with ground meats and other savory foods like potatoes or peas, topping it off with a fresh tomato sauce. You may recognize this flag of this country whose capital city is Canberra. Other sites in this country is the Sydney Opera House in the city of Sydney. Um, you may visit the Outback and see some kangaroos or koalas. Yes, yeah, so we are going down under and the country I am looking for is Australia. Australia is the one I'm looking for. Awesome. All right, we're doing great on time. Hmm. All right, here's a bit more challenging one. This one, this dish here is called an arepa. It is a corn pancake, usually filled with cheese and sometimes other meats. The flag of this nation includes a nation home to Angel Falls, the world's tallest waterfall in the world. A lot taller than Niagara Falls. You may have heard of their capital city of Caracas. So I'm looking for Caracas and Arepas and home to Angel Falls. Begins with a V in South America. Country I'm looking for, of course, is Venezuela. Venezuela. All right. Hmm, how about this dish? This one's an interesting combination. This is called Mules Fritas. Again, if I pronounced that wrong, please let me know. It is actually a pretty simple dish. It's just mussels served with a side of fries, which this country is very well known for. Of course, you may recognize this flag similar to the German flag with the bl black, yellow, and red patterns. Capital city is Brussels, though you may know this country more so for their chocolates, their waffles. I am looking for the country of Belgium. Yup, I'm sure you've heard of Belgian chocolate, Belgian waffles, and of course, their french fries. 
All right. Next one. This dish is called tandoori chicken. It is a chicken that is marinated in yogurt and spices, and then they roast it in a clay oven. Here is this country's flag, which like China, represents over 1 billion people. Um, what else about this country? This country's capital is New Delhi and home to the Taj Mahal. So Taj Mahal, New Delhi, Tandoori Chicken. Of course, the country I am looking for is India. India is the one I'm looking for. Awesome. All right. This is a very traditional dish of this nation. It is called pho. It is a soup dish. It's a beef broth with rice noodles, vegetables, and usually topped off with some beef, some thinly sliced beef. The country's flag, which is home to cities such as Ho Chi Minh City and the capital of Hanoi. Ho Chi Minh City was used to be called Saigon. Um, another fun place to visit in this country is called Ha Long Bay. A very beautiful beach. All right, if you guys didn't get this one, this is a country in Southeast Asia, I believe. It starts with a V. All right, yep, I am looking for Vietnam. Vietnam. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have fun pronouncing this one. So this food, the national food of this country is called Wiener Schnitzel. It is a Viennese cutlet that is thinly breaded, pan fried, and it's made out of veal, if I didn't say that. Um, of course, it is Viennese because of their national, their capital city of Vienna. And other sites in this country include the Salzburg Alsad, a city in, Un it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I am looking for a European city Home to Wiener Schnitzel and Vienna. I am looking for Austria. Austria is this one. This one's a bit challenging, but if you got that, kudos to you. All right, let's move over to Asia now. This dish is called bulgogi. It is a grilled, thinly marinated beef or sometimes pork dish. You may recognize this flag fairly recently because they hosted the 2018 Winter Olympics in their capital city of Seoul. They have a neighboring country that they are always feuding with, but let's focus more on the positive, like the beautiful palace of Yongbokgung Palace. If you know Seoul, you know the country I am looking for here is South Korea. South Korea. All right, we're getting into the challenging ones now, so don't give up on me yet. You guys are doing great. This here is a South American dish or Central American dish called a pupusa. It is a thick flatbread made out of cornmeal and it's filled with cheese and meats, usually served with a nice spicy dipping sauce. Here is the country's flag as well as their national their capital city of San Salvador, which may be a hint of the country's name. Other sites include Lago de Costa Pique, Santa Ana Volcano, and the Tazumul Munal Ruins. Oh man, so yeah, country I'm looking for is Central, the South American country, home to Papusas, is El Salvador. El Salvador. Let me do a few more for you guys. Mm. All right, here's a fun one. This is called Ropa Vieja. Ropa Vieja actually translates to old clothes or like dirty laundry because of how it looks, but it's actually a really great dish made out of shredded steak in a tomato sauce. And they usually serve it over yellow rice with beans and plantains or fried yuca. The national flag of this island nation, home to its capital city of Havana. 
very close to Florida. And if you go to Old Havana, it's very beautiful, a very traditional town that Americans actually only recently have been allowed to visit. If you know the country I'm looking for, it starts with a C. I am looking for the country of Cuba. Cuba, yes. Awesome, all right. This one's a bit of a challenging one, but I, I wanna see who gets this one. This dish is actually called borscht. It is a sour soup made out of beetroots, topped off with sour cream, a very sour soup. Um, I'm gonna give you the flag as well as their capital city of Kiev. And sites include the St. Sophia's Cathedral, the Kiev, Pershik, Lavra, and the Golden Gate, Eastern European nation, home to Borscht. It is Ukraine. If you got Ukraine, that's great for you. Mm. All right, a few more. This is a classic This I'm sure you've probably tried. It is called a pierogi. It's very simple. It's a potato dumpling filled with meats and cheeses and sometimes sauerkraut. You may have even made it at home. Um, this country's capital is Warsaw and home to many famous sites, including the Auschwitz Memorial, the Wawel Royal Castle and Malbork Castle. I believe also Eastern European, maybe a little more central. Starts with a P. Home to pierogies. And the answer I'm looking for is Poland. Poland. Yes. Let's see. Do a few more. Mm. This dish is a South American dish. It's called fejoada. It is a stew made out of beans with beef and pork. I'm sure you probably recognize this flag, or if you're a soccer fan, you definitely know this nation, whose capital is Brasilia, and home to cities such as Rio de Janeiro and the Copacabana. You can see the famous statue of the Christ, the Redeemer in this nation. They hosted the Olympics here and the World Cup, I believe, the last Summer Olympics and the last World Cup. I think, yeah, or before that. Anyways, so yeah, this country home to Brasilia and Rio de Janeiro. Of course, I am talking about Brazil. Mm, let's do two more. This is an interesting food. This is called bunny chow. It's not from bunnies though, I can tell you that. It. This is actually a square bread bowl and they fill it with curry inside. You may recognize this very colorful flag of the nation that hosted the 2010 World Cup and is one of its capitals is Cape Town. They actually have three capitals, so there's no official capital, but Cape Town is a major city in this country, as well as the Cape of Good Hope. They have plenty beautiful beaches their president was Nelson Mandela for a good amount of years. Home to Bunny Chow and Cape Town. Of course, I am talking about the African nation of South Africa. South Africa. All right. I think let's end this off with one more dish. A nice sweet dessert to end our day. These are called pasteles de nata. They are an egg tart pastry brushed off with some cinnamon. I'm sure you probably recognize this flag of this European nation whose capital is Lisbon, home to sites such as the Bellum Tower and the Geronimo's Monastery. Um, but yeah, these pastels de nata, this is a country near Spain, a very similar culture to Spain, except they don't speak Spanish there. They speak a language Named after their own nation, spoken also in sites such as Brazil. Country that starts with a P, I am looking for Portugal. Yes, Portugal. All right, guys. All right, this was some fun trivia. I hope you were able to exercise your brain, really recall some facts you may have not thought about in a while. You know, during these times, it's very important that you're not only doing some physical exercise, 
but doing some mental exercise, whether, you know, doing a crossword puzzle. You can watch a game show. Of course, watch our videos here. We have a lot of fun trivia videos to stimulate your brain. It's so important to keep active, keep healthy, and most importantly, keep safe. As I said before, we have live streams coming at you Mondays through Saturdays at 10.30, 12.30, and 2 o'clock. If you miss any of these live streams, just go on our Facebook page. All of the videos are here. Go on our website, lidementia.org. You can find them there as well. While you're on our website, if you can donate in any way, it really helps us to be able to continue bringing these videos to you guys. Um, it is a beautiful day outside. Like, I believe it's like almost 70s or it's already in the 70s. So if you're able to go outside in your backyard, get some fresh air. If you want to walk around your neighborhood, go ahead. Just, of course, keep in mind of social distancing. Stay safe out there, guys. You know. We'll be back here Monday at 10.30. Like I said, more programming coming at you. Bringing our program to your home while you're staying safe. Until then, guys, stay safe. I will see you soon. Happy Saturday. And yeah, bye-bye, guys.